I have to know. I'm scared. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. That's gotta be like in the 30s. Guys, oh, I did not prepare great. for this, for the cold. I'm so excited. You know what we need to try doing this year? What? I put it in my notes. Um, that conquer one thing that scares us. Are you scared of this? <laughs> I'm scared of it, I just don't enjoy it. Uh, conquer slash don't enjoy it. I'm, I'm from California, so. Yeah. I'm used to perfect weather year round. So mm -hmm. snow. But that's a good that's a good goal for the year. So that's one of your resolutions then? I'm not a huge fan of resolutions or the term because I feel that most of the time we we're so hyped up because it's a new year and like a new start. Yeah. But then we end up, I don't want to say failing, but we end up forgetting about our resolutions like after the first month or two. And I, if, I, if I want to set new goals for the for the new year, what I try to do is that I start implementing um, habits about two months before the year is over. That way when I come into the year, I have already adapted those habits and it's a little easier for me to keep going. I, I can somewhat agree and somewhat disagree. Okay. Uh, I agree in that like, I kind of want to, lead my life now mm -hmm. in a constant state of like developing new goals and resolutions right yeah um i don't think if the i think a lot of people do kind of be like oh it's it's already october i'll start in the new year you know right yeah and i don't like that idea at all yeah i don't either so yeah i do like the kind of being in a constant state of re resolutions uh but i do like the new year as kind of like a goal post right yes. right it's, it's a nice it's a nice time for me to like uh, look back and be like, okay, where was I a year ago, right? Right. Okay, well, so Paulina, how are you feeling about your weight loss and health journey so far? I feel a lot more confident this time around because I'm actually pushing harder. Um, and that makes me very, very excited. I'm pushing so hard in the mornings, but I keep failing by minutes and then I'm so hard on myself. I cry every single morning after I get off the elliptical. And I think those are the moments that keep me going. Even though in that moment, it, it is negative. Yeah. But after I reflect on it and how it went, those are the strong moments keep me going thus yeah. far. What have you learned about yourself in that cardio that you're gonna take into this new year? It is a mind, it is a mind game. Oh, another thing I started doing, I started repeating my new beliefs for my breakthrough sessions. Yeah. Because I want to quit like mid, halfway through the 60 minutes, I start to slow down and I have to talk to myself and yeah. I will repeat my, my new beliefs. So that has been helpful. Yeah, when Chris first like amped up our cardio, yeah, it like completely wrecked me. Like. <laughs> I was feeling good about myself because I was losing a lot of weight and yeah. I was getting in shape. But then he like, he said, okay, now your cardio is going up a notch. And I felt like I was back in the beginning again. It's <laughs> just like, like, what is this? I can't like, I, I can't like freaking go faster. I can't, like, like the treadmill's maxed out. And, and now you want me to like basically run. I've been running 10 years, you know? And there came a certain point where I kind of understood what it was about, at least for me. Yeah. And and it was, it was the thing that Chris is saying, where it's like, I'm always looking for like a personal best. I, I've really kind of come to crave that. And I think that's what I'm bringing with me most into this new year. And I'm applying it, you know, initially to my health journey, but I'm actually gonna, I'm planning to apply it to everything. And like my personal development, whether it's my career or my family, it's like, okay, how am I gonna be a better filmmaker today, right? How am I gonna be a better father today, a better yeah. husband? That's the, the big thing from the health journey that I'm excited to, excited most for this new year. And I'm really curious, like honestly, just kind of see, see where it is 
January 2024. All right, Marshall, what are the highlights for you of this past year in the first few months of health journey? For me, it would probably be um, my first breakthrough with Chris and my first gym day with Chris. Like that was just, I was terrified, um, mostly for breakthrough. And uh, it ended up being a lot less painful than I thought and a lot more empowering than I thought it was gonna be. My very first highlight would have to be uh, coming clean about my eating disorder because I don't share that with people. Yeah. I'm glad that I did. I, I'm glad now that I did. Yeah. I've received a lot of help and support and love from it, and I'm very grateful for that. My second one would probably be my first leg day with Chris. That was the first time I really realized that I had never in my life pushed my body hard. I never actually truly exercised mm -hmm. because I literally couldn't walk for a week after that leg day. I remember that. <laughs> my body can do more. My, my, my greatness is greater than what I've been telling myself. And that was really empowering for me. My number two would have to be that full week of boot camp that Chris very kindly gifted me. Yeah. It was hard and he pushed me like no one else has ever. My number three, um, and in some ways kind of the most important one for me so far on this journey, uh, was the food challenge where we were making disgusting concoctions and throwing up. Because for me, I just had this huge epiphany there in that moment that I've just been putting trash into my body my whole life. And like, my body's given me so much. It's given me my entire life experience, you know? Everything I have in my life, my body's done all this for me, and what have I done for it besides just like fill it full of crap that has just hurt me? Um, and so that was a huge moment for me on this journey. I think that's when things really shifted for me too. And it was a powerful moment for me because I uh, was very nervous about it. And it went a lot better than I thought it would go. Um, just because I kept thinking about my previous encounters with food and my eating disorder that I've been battling with. And I came into it very nervous. Um, but I'm grateful that we had each other and we succeeded. Yeah. And I had this experience during the holidays. The family made brownies for during the holidays and I was offered brownies and I said no. I was like no because I gave that up and I don't feel a need for it or even a craving for it. And if you don't take them, like I will throw them out. So please remove them from my house. <laughs> that was exactly what happened. I love it. And they felt so good. <laughs> Yeah, I guess my big resolution or goal, I don't want to trigger you, uh, is to be down 80 pounds by my 33rd birthday. So I got two and a half months to basically go down another 35, 40 pounds. Amazing. Yeah. I have many goals, but I think my number one or the one I'm going to focus on the most Working on my attitude, actually. It's not really a physical health goal, but it's more of a, a mental health goal. I have a lot of physical health goals, but I think my mental health goal has to take charge. Get more sleep. I currently get six hours of sleep. Yeah. I need to be better about that. Drink more water. Meal prep. Meal I can, prep for I can, sure. I can improve my meal prepping. 100%. Yeah. And it is hard <laughs> having to substitute yeah. and remove and add things. Yeah, no, it's like it's expensive. People at restaurants end up disliking and sorry, well, you. And then what was the what was the oh, goal after meal prep? Yeah. Uh, to not mi miss a workout. Thanks for uh, inviting me out here for this hike, Paulina, to discuss the new year and our goals and, uh, and 
both the years we've been so far. I'm excited, uh, excited to see what comes next. I'm glad that we can hike now. I know, let's go on more hikes, more often. Maybe this was we, a nice one. Maybe wait till the snow's gone. Go I'm on. so glad we hiked in the snow. This is my first snow hike. Yeah, it's my last snow hike. <laughs> your first and last? Yeah. Purchase your last. Yeah. <laughs>